What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 spoiled kids reacting to bad Christmas presents. Now before we begin, I know a lot of you guys love free giveaways because we've been doing our weekly giveaways for about a month now. Now the weekly giveaways are still a thing, but me and a few of my friends teamed up to do a massive Christmas giveaway. If you want to enter that, just click the link at the top of the description and do all the steps there. It only takes like 2 minutes to do and it enters you to win a ridiculous amount of prizes, so why not do it? Also, make sure to leave a like on this video for good luck this year with your Christmas presents. Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to end up like one of the kids we're about to showcase, so let's see if we can break 5,000 likes on today's video. Anyways, with that said, let's get right into it. Number 5 Nowadays, it's pretty normal to see so many young kids get super expensive presents like PlayStations for Christmas, but this kid, he got exactly the opposite of that. Here we have a YouTuber called Carnage, and he basically pranks his nephew by putting a PlayStation 2 inside of a PlayStation 4 box. The kid goes through all the trouble of opening the box to be met with a PlayStation 2 Slim with a post-it note saying PS4 on it. The kid wasn't happy at all and throws one of the biggest tantrums I have ever seen. First he throws the PlayStation 2 away and then he just starts freaking out on everyone. His brother then says he'll get him a real PS4 soon but man this one is really funny to watch. Like, get out of the video, man. Yes. Man's got a PS4. Are you gonna play it now? Yeah. Sick. Huh? Alright, open it. Wait, shut up, man. Open it. Jeez, PS4! PS4, how do you feel? PS4, let's see it, let's see it, hold it up. PS4. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Relax. Relax. <laughs> Number 4 Christmas the past decade or so has drastically changed from let's say 50 years ago. Most people then would be grateful to just spend the holidays with their family, but now it seems to be all about what you get as presents. This little girl and boy are very excited to open their Christmas presents to see what they got, and that was until they actually saw what was in them. The little girl ended up getting a plunger, and the boy ended up getting what looked to be a bag of oranges. Now obviously it was just a huge prank, but they didn't know that because they actually ended up bursting out in tears saying that they hated their gifts. I'm sure they'd end up getting what they wanted later on, but I mean, regardless of what you get, you should never cry over Christmas presents. Okay, take it out of the handle. Take it out of the truck. <laughs> but Uncle Tim thought you might like it. What is it? <laughs> it's for cleaning toilets. <laughs> you can clean your... <laughs> now you can clean your very own bathroom, like a big Okay, go on, Levi. I don't want it for Christmas. Yes, you do. I do want it. What is it? I don't want it for What is it? Yay, onions. They're onions. They're for dinner. Number 3 Some parents are just cruel, and to be honest, I think these guys come under that category because this prank present was so bad that it made the kid cry. So he unwraps his present, and what's in there? It was literally a bunch of girls toys. I mean, I guess this kid is really into his action figures or something because this girls toy made him completely break down in tears. I mean, I guess it is kind of cruel for parents to do this to kids. But if I ever have a child, I hope he turns out like that one kid who got an avocado for Christmas and was really happy. Either way, the kid broke down crying, but just like every spot on this list, I'm pretty sure he got what he wanted later on. What is it? Are you excited? Yeah. What is it? What is it? I don't want it! What's wrong? Ethan. 
Number two. Jimmy Kimmel has a series on his TV show where they showcase kids getting bad Christmas presents on purpose. And that's basically just for the reaction. In this scope, we don't just have one terrible present, no, we actually have two. The kid on the left wanted a 3DS for Christmas, but instead of that, he just got a piece of string with the letters 3DS hanging off of it, while his brother literally just got a potato. I mean, the crazy thing is that the kid who got the potato wasn't even mad about it. He actually seemed seriously happy. However, the 3DS kid was not happy in the slightest. I think the funniest part about this one is the kid who's all upset points at his brother who got the potato and goes, he got the best. Well, keep in mind here, people, all he got was a literal potato. I thought this one was honestly hilarious. Number 1 So the title of this video is called Fat Kid Rages Over Christmas Presents and I gotta say, it's pretty hilarious to watch. Basically, I'm assuming it's two brothers where one asked for money for Christmas and the other asked for a PS4. Now both of them got what they wanted, but the kid who asked for money only got $50, so he's super upset because he thinks it's unfair. His reaction is absolutely priceless because he just starts throwing this huge temper tantrum all the while his brother is filming him and making fun of him. Either way, let me know down in the comments below, what would you do if this was your kid and he acted like this? You're a child. What's up? Kyle, Kyle, Camper, Kyle, no! What? You're an ungrateful. You're an ungrateful You're brat. You're a noob. You're a brat. No, I'm not. You're... I only got fifty bucks. Yeah, go buy candy. Candy. Chips. Why couldn't I have gotten a PS? Actually, I already have a PS. And there's our video on the top 5 spoiled kids crying over Christmas presents. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever I upload a video. Also, if you have your own top 5 or top 10 idea, feel free to use our extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.